for today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Basking in some sunshine there on the strip in Henderson as we take a look down from our Heads Construction Tower Cam. Of course, that's in the backyard, and we are looking at the sunshine a little bit more. Uh, this week, uh, this afternoon, than what we saw this morning, we get a better dose. Of course, we saw next to none this morning, so I guess that's easier to do, right? You can see also some breaks on the east side of Evansville there on our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera, and the traffic flowing in uh, from Warwick County, going to get some grub maybe at lunchtime on the east side. 78 degrees right now, dew point of 72, so it's very humid out, and we've got a couple more muggy days to get through before we get to autumn and Wednesday, and almost right on cue. The temperature, the dew point, I mean, the humidity is going to drop, and we're looking much cooler, much drier for the back half of the week. South, southeast wind at seven miles an hour. Temperature wise, how low can we go? We've got 74 degrees in Morgantown, 75 Beaver Dam, 76 in Fordsville, 77 in Princeton, 78 in Henderson, 79 Owensboro, 80 in Dixon, 81. In Carmont. There you go. So, where we see some sunshine breaking through, the temperature starting to warm. I'm calling it 81 for a high later today here in Evansville. Ah, oh, look at this great looking sunset on Saturday night as the clouds were rolling in. Uh, in anticipation of the rain uh, that we had on Sunday. And of course, Sunday we had about two-thirds of an inch of rain at the Evansville Airport, so pretty good dousing. But it was a beautiful Saturday evening, and Carla Latham got the goods on this shot right here. And you can see the golden hummingbird feeder, too. And there's the hummingbird. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> they are. They are eating plenty because they've got the big migration south here coming up pretty soon. We, they'll be gone soon enough, but yeah, they've been eating plenty at my place, too. Look at this awesome shot of the near full harvest moon over the weekend. It'll be full tonight. I think we'll have breaks in the clouds like you see right there in Livermore over the weekend that Holly Johnson got that shot. And there's the harvest moon. And of course, if you look closely, you can see a little hawk or, or it's a big bird, might be a turkey vulture. And you've got the corn ready for harvest underneath that harvest moon. Pretty cool shot. Holly, thank you so much for that. I like this too. In three, two, one, funky. Today's funky fruit is double tomato. You've got a two for one deal right there. We're calling it double tomato anyway. Deborah Reynolds is the one that sent in that funky fruit. Deborah, thank you so much for that. Live first morning Doppler radar. Uh, quiet for the most part. Unlike the kitty in the studio, <laughs> oh, we've got our pet of the day it's in, and we've got ourselves a little bit of rain. It's kind of working its. I know I don't care for the forecast either. I don't blame you one bit. Uh, it's working its way to the north northeast. We had seen a little heavy pocket of rain around Evansville. I'll show you that in a second. But most of the rain has been to the east today, and that continues to be the case. You got that heavy little pocket of rain going basically from Henderson County toward the west side of Evansville. Looks like it's just a little west of USI. Also on the northwest side of town, some heavy rain too. So just a little bit of light rain on the east side. Rainfall estimates by Doppler. The heaviest rain has been to the east, and the heaviest rain, obviously, in the tri-state that I could find was in eastern Perry County, right there in the southeast corner. Three and a half inches of rain in the past 24 hours. A lot of that was yesterday. As we take a look at Storm Tracker across the region, look at that heavy rain basically from Nashville through Louisville into Cincinnati. Indianapolis has seen some fairly heavy rain, lighter amounts of rain and more scattered as you work your way to the west. And our future trackers indicating a little more sunshine this afternoon than what we saw this morning. The rain's going to be tapering off as we head into evening. Look at the breaks in the clouds to see that full harvest moon. Should be a beautiful sight. And really broken clouds could make it even better. And as we look at our Tuesday, we start the day with just a few showers out there. But the cool front will be moving in around midday, early afternoon. And you can see that line of showers and thunder showers kind of pushing on through. Not expecting anything severe as it moves on past the tri-state. Still have a chance of rain, though, and even a pretty good chance of rain. Later on tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Here's my forecast for today, calling for a high of 81 degrees with scattered showers and thunder showers uh, tapering off as we head into evening, though, and a high of 81 with a little better dose of sunshine this afternoon than what we've seen so far. Southeast wind at 5 to 15. Three degree guarantee, I call for a high of 86, got up to 87 degrees. Christy Lafif, you've got an umbrella waiting for you here at the station. Over the next seven days, hey, fall moves in on Wednesday. Rain should taper off Wednesday morning, looking better in the afternoon. And look at the temperature lows 50 on Thursday morning. 47 on Friday morning, highs in the low 70s. Autumn is here, Jake and Gretchen. It looks fantastic. If you like it cooler, and Gretchen, yeah, I know you do, you I like do. to run in that cooler weather. Remember when we decorated pumpkins? Yeah, I do remember that your was fun. Uh, dinosaur. We're bringing it back. We are. We're bringing it back. It's the return of the pumpkin. All right, we got pen of the day next. Oh.